Hello guys, um, so welcome to Immunology. So this will be the first course we're going through. Probably my favorite topic right now. It's really interesting, you know, especially with the COVID stuff going on. It's like, I guess, topical, but it's also very interesting to learn in a way that when you can hear about COVID stuff, you can actually understand what's happening. And when you look at the research, you can kind of actually understand what's happening. Um, nature reviews, you know, they're pretty much the best. Um, definitely keep checking out all their COVID reviews. They're super good. This is an example of one that talks about inflammation and immunity and intervention. And here we just got to figure something up the immune system as a whole very briefly, but we'll just move on. So most of the information used in this uh, course is from this textbook, Janway's Immunobiology. Really, really, really <laughs> detailed. So it's a little dense um, and really long. I would say it's better as a reference tool if there's any uh, topic you really want to get into and know every little pathway, molecule, cytokine, whatever. But it's still a good overview book. You might have to graze over some of the detail as it sometimes is a little complex unless you're specializing. But it's really good. The figures are honestly amazing. They're some of the best work. But here, this other two, three. This one's also quite complicated. It's kind of like the rival to this one, another big thousand pager. But these two right here are very short um, in the title, you can see. And they're, they're quite, they're more succinct than this one than Janway's, but they still some detail. This is probably the least detailed, but it's definitely the best at giving you the actual picture of the immune system and like just how it functions as an integrated system. Definitely check these out. This one is really short. It's like 200 pages, I think less than 200 pages. So you can find it online, but if you can buy it, that'd be great. Definitely check it out. Okay. So just a quick overview, go through this quickly. We'll be looking at the basic concepts of immunology, you know, most of the stuff everyone knows. Then we'll go through innate system, all the different cells, receptors, how it's activated, different pathways, complement other stuff. Then we do get adaptive. So as it says here, antibody structure, TB cells, the recognition, the receptors, and the generation of diversity, which is quite interesting, but also quite complex. We also have antigen processing and presentation and the roles of the MHC, T cell signaling activation, B and T cell act development and positive negative selection, T cell responses, and just basically all the information you need to know about T cells. And here we can and then, although the numbering got messed up here, it's uh, then we go into B cell activity, response to infection, and then we get a little more practical with immune errors and deficiencies, stuff you may have heard of. Allergies, which are extremely common, like asthma, different stuff like that, autoimmunity, transplantations, and tumors, which is a big field in immunology. So I'm not going to really read this, but the goal is just to have, although there's a lot of detail in this course, I think the goal is to just get that general understanding. You're going to forget <laughs> these pathways, like without looking at them all the time you will like lose some of the pathways but you getting the principles is the core of this course and it's just i think with covid right now it makes it even more relevant of how you can now that after this course you should be able to pick up details and papers and studies that you may have missed before and i know for me if you guys saw my welcome video i'm in you know exercise immunology and center physiology and there's a lot of immune stuff that before i went through this course didn't make sense. You could read it in the paper and understand what's happening, but you didn't know the detail behind those terms. And this gives you that depth that I think helps with pretty much any research that looks at markers, blood cells, white, any type of lymphocyte, anything. So I think it's a really good course. So first is going to be the innate immunity. So this is chapters three, two and three in your book. So basically, innate responses rely on germline encoded pattern recognition receptors to recognize pathogens and respond very quickly. As I guess you can see in this figure, the innate immune system has no specific memory and it's very quick. So here we see innate immunity. We've got innate immunity here. 
zero to four hours, just a quick look. Infection, recognition performed by non-specific and broadly specific effectors and removal of the agent. So basically, if it the pathogen is stopped here, that's the end of the pathway. But a lot of the times, or we'd never get sick, it gets past the first pathway, the first barrier, and then we usually have these other two. I won't belabor the point here, but we'll get into detail of this later. Sorry. So yeah, just a quick overview of how we'll talk about innate versus adaptive. This is kind of a good figure to just always come back to. Super simple, innate, always on, rapid response, no need for previous exposure. It's the same response every single time to the same pathogen, um, but it definitely can be overwhelmed or that's why we get sick and it lacks memory. But as you can see here, this is very important that people forget of how intertwined they are. One won't work without the other, basically. We need the innate for the acquired to work. But anyways, here's acquired, not on until exposed to foreign antigen. It is specific, is a slow, and is intense response and protects us on second exposure through memory. As you can see, this is, if you see the color coding here, this presents antigens to the adaptive immune system, and they release cytokines to affect the response of the innate immune system through signaling molecules. Anyways, we'll get into detail of that later. So just a brief overview, as we go through the, the course, keep in mind the SARS-CoV-2 infection immunity research. These are three really good papers that definitely should go read. These two right here are amazing. They just like, they're not overly, this one's a little complex, pathophysiology, but once you read these, you'll just have a way deeper understanding when people talk about it on the news. You won't be as, you can be more, I guess, say, cynical of what the news are saying, you know. So you have, you know what can really happen. Although the COVID research is changing very rapidly. So nothing is concrete because stuff is changing every day. But this is really good papers and I recommend you read them. And finally, another slide here just to talk about basically a little taste of what we'll look at. So we're doing cell, cell mediated, which is cell mediated and acquired in memory of slow response. And then you can see all the different effector cells. So you can see the overlap here. These are special cells and dendritic cells, which we'll talk about quite a bit in the presentation of antigens, but yeah. So that's our lecture. I'll see you guys in the next one and stay tuned for some innate immunity. Thanks.